Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install or download this update that is KB5016616. So if you are unable to install this update on your Windows 10 computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run update troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu and then click on settings. Now click on update and security and then click on troubleshoot. Now click on additional troubleshooters. Now over here you can see windows update. Click on it then click on run the troubleshooter. Now once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this troubleshoot is complete and after the system restart, update your windows 10 once again. Now the next step is to use windows 10 update assistant. For this copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser, it will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Windows Update Assistant, click on update now. And then run this exe file. Now click on yes to allow. It will load Windows 10 Update Assistant. If there is any pending update, it will give you an option to install or update. So click on install or update if you see it and then update your Windows 10. Now still you are facing the problem in that case, reset windows update components. For this copy all these commands, these commands are provided in the video description. So copy the command till here. Open notepad on your computer. Paste all the command in notepad. Now go to file, then click on save as, set the location as desktop, name this file as wufix.bat. And then for save as type, select all files and then click on save. Now go to desktop, make a right click on the wufix.bat file and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening this file as an administrator. So click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. Now this will open command prompt. First of all, it will stop all the windows update services. And then it will run some scans. Now there are a couple of scans. So the scan will take some time. Now once the scan is complete, it will restart all the windows update services and then you can restart your computer. Once all the process is complete, now restart your computer and after the system restart, now update your windows 10 once again. Now if nothing is working, use media creation tool to update your windows 10. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. Again, it will take you to the same website. Here you can see media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Now, once you run this exe file, you will see this screen. Click on accept and by default upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on next and it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now, this process will take some time. Now, once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Now, when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install after the installation, log into your computer and you, your windows should be up to date. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 10 computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.